Hi everyone, this is Teal from Parkablocks.com. Two weeks ago, I received two decks of cards from this guy called Clark Huggins. So these are the cards. This is called the Reckless Deck. It is actually an idea generating deck of cards to help artists generate ideas for designing characters. So today I'm going to talk about some of the features in these cards. So this is Reckless Deck Volume 1 and this is Volume 2. This is currently on Kickstarter right now. So he's trying to raise some funds to fund the production of these cards. He set out to raise $7,500. Currently, he has raised over $40,000. The campaign is going to end on the 20th of April, 2017. So if you want to support him, you can do so before the campaign ends. So let's take a closer look at these cards. So for volume one, we have a deck of 72 cards. They are actually divided into five categories. Now this applies to volume two as well, but volume two has six categories. So this is one category, and these are the five categories. So there are letters on each category to tell you what they are. So this is A, that's accessory, this is weapons, costumes, modification, intrinsic value. These are idea cards, so you can just use them however you want. There are some suggestions provided on this piece of paper that's included in the box. So you can either shuffle everything and then pick three cards and draw using those three ideas, or you can separate them out into categories like this and pick one card from each category and draw from those five ideas. Or you can pick four or five cards randomly and pick three cards out of that selection and draw. Seriously, anything goes. There's no rules or regulation. So that's the fun thing about these cards. Each card is also separated into different genres. For example, here we have fantasy, sci-fi, horror and this is actually steampunk these genre labels are on every card for example here you may want to draw a fantasy crown a sci-fi crown or a horror crown so there are a lot of different permutations you can use so these are accessory cards gas mask goggles jetpack musical instrument let's take a look at modification so you can modify your characters with angel wings or have an animal companion claws was this organic armor cybernetic eye these are costumes big boots cape rope there are about 10 to 13 ideas from each category. These are weapons, blue whip, bow and arrow, chainsaw, crossbow, machine gun, laser sword, laser gun. There's also this category called intrinsic nature. Now this indicates the fundamental features or the essence of the character. So for example, this one, this means that the character is an alien and this means the character probably lives under water, aquatic or amphibian, demon, fire attribute, ice attributes. So that's volume one, the cards with the very simple design. So this is the new deck of cards, volume two. There is an additional category called reinvention. So reinvention is about reinventing an existing character that is already out there. For example, superhero, you can reinvent Batman, Superman. You can reinvent a fantasy villain, Loki. Reinvent Godzilla or any other thing. Oh, there's even a self portrait. You can reinvent yourself. So right now I'm just going to shuffle them and see uh, what kind of permutation I can get. This should be quite fun. I'm going to pick three cards randomly. One, two, 
and three. So this is a suit and this is a costume. This is reinvention. This is a flamethrower. This is a weapon. These logos here, they are actually the genre. So this is sci-fi, horror, steampunk. And this looks like a dragon head. This is probably fantasy. So for example, here we can draw a fantasy hero that is dressed in a tuxedo. He or she may be holding a flamethrower. Let me pick another three cards. One, two, and three. So in this case, you can choose any genre you like. You can draw a horror character that is wearing a hood. He uses some wrist rockets. And the character is robotic in nature, for example. Each deck has 72 cards. So the number of permutations you can get is, let's just say that you will never run out of ideas to draw from again. And that's just from volume two. And there is volume one, so that's a total of 144 cards. Let me show you some of the drawings that I have drawn using the cards. So this is laser gun, corset, spikes. So I drew a lady holding a laser gun and a chain ball with spikes. I'm not very good at drawing from imagination. This is a superhero in riot gear and has butterfly wings. So I guess if you want to draw with more accuracy, more realism, you may want to use some photo reference. This is machine gun, fire attribute, talisman, object of power. I'm not sure what to draw for this, so I actually drew a soldier with flaming hair. My style is more cartoony, comic-like. The good thing about these cards is when you draw with them, the more you draw, the better you will get. So you will definitely improve your drawing. So it's all about practice. And with these cards, you have a lot of ideas for practice. Overall, I think the cards are very useful and very fun to use. So if you want to get yourself one or two decks, the link to the Kickstarter campaign is just below this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.